everyone, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you can enhance brown eyes or just some colors that look really great with brown eyes. In this tutorial I'm going to be using the Laura Pro Palette. I just got this recently. I've been loving it. There are so many colors in here. Basically all the colors in here would look wonderful with brown eyes. There's so many different looks I could do with this and I can't wait to do some more. Plan on doing an all matte one because this is half matte and half shimmer down at the bottom. So there's just so many great colors that would work perfect for brown eyes or blue eyes. I see a lot of good colors for blue eyes in here as well like the garnet one and the gold. So I will do some more looks if you guys want me to using some other colors. Also, do not feel like you cannot do this look if you have other eye colors. I think it would look beautiful on green eyes as well, and even blue eyes, you can rock any color you want. So just keep that in mind. I also have some cheaper alternatives for you guys here of some shades that I'm going to be using in the palette in case you can't get that one. Um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette, this is in Lust. It's got some really great purple shades that would work perfectly, and there are some great dupes in here as well. They're not exactly the same, but you could achieve the same type of look. And then I have a NYX Love and Florence little palette here. This is in Sunsets with Sophia, and you can find these at Target. And this also has some really great dupes in here as well. So feel free to use whatever you want and just kind of follow the concepts I'm going to be talking about. So just some different ways you can enhance brown eyes and the colors that look great with them. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off by applying the shade Light Pink using a large shader brush. I'm focusing this on the inner corners of my eyes. The pink tone in this shadow is very brightening and works well to accent purple tones. Love of mine, someday you will die, but I'll be close behind. Then using the same brush, I'm mixing Nude and Champagne and applying it all over my lid. Nude is a gorgeous shimmery shade that makes the eyes really sparkle. Champagne is great if your skin tone is a bit darker. Then I'm applying light bronze to the outer portion of my lid. This is just to add a fade effect, but it could be skipped. Now I'm applying the matte shade Mauve using a fluffy blending brush. This shade is one of my favorites for the crease in this palette. The purple tone looks gorgeous against brown eyes or green or even hazel. Purple shadows work great to enhance brown eyes, but sometimes people find it hard to wear color. So using a shadow like this one is much more natural looking, but the hint of purple sets off your eye color. Now I'm applying the shade Cream to my brow bone as a highlight. She told me, son, fear is the heart of love, so I never went back. Now I'm applying the same mauve shade using a pencil brush to my lower lash line. This helps the shadow not look heavy on the top. If you want this look to be more wearable, you can stop here. This is usually the look I wear day to day and it's super fast to do. For this look though, I'm going to deepen it up a bit using the shade Deep Purple on a crease brush. And I'm just focusing this color on the outer corners of my eye. I don't want to take it too far in because we don't want to close off our eyes. You want to also be really careful not to overblend and take it too far below your eye because then your eyes can look droopy. You can hold your finger on the corner of your eye if you want or you could use a tissue. Just really try to avoid taking it too far down. The time for sleep is now, there's nothing to cry about. We'll hold each other soon in the blackest of rooms. Then I'm using a clean blending brush just to blend that out very lightly. But they both are satisfied. Now I'm going back in with what's left over on my fluffy brush to blend out the crease. They can see signs if there's no one beside you. When you're working with dark shadows, you really want to make sure you work slowly and try not to overblend. You can always add more shadow, but it's really hard to take away shadow that you've already done. And I'll follow you into the dark. Next, I'm taking the same deep purple shadow and applying it to the outer portion of my lower lash line. The key to dark eyeshadow is keeping it from falling past the end of your eye and your eyebrow. To clean it up, I'm applying concealer using my beauty blender. Then I'm going over it with loose powder to set it. Someday you will die, 
Then I'm just touching up some of the lighter shadows that I already applied because some of them can get taken away when you're working with dark shadows. For liner, I'm applying NYX's Slide On Pencil in Brown Perfection. Brown liner accent brown eyes better and makes them look deeper. If you really want them to stand out, you can apply brown liner to your waterline. It also helps to wing the liner out from the corners to really make your eyes look wider. Then I'm applying NYX's Wonder Pencil to my waterline. Applying a nude shade to the waterline makes the whites of your eyes look whiter, making your eyes appear larger. If you want to use the brown liner on your waterline, you can, but just keep in mind it can make your eyes look small. Next, I'm curling my lashes, which helps open up the eyes. Then I'm applying two coats of my Revlon 3D Volume Mascara. So that is it for my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the link down below. That will take you over to my blog. I'll have a list of all the products if you're interested in purchasing any of them. And I'll have pictures on there of the look as well if you want to pin them on Pinterest to try them out for yourself. And please leave me a comment of whatever your favorite color is to wear with your eye color because I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, everybody. Brushes down all on the floor. This whole thing. I just have a disaster. I knocked this whole thing down. What the heck is that? Seriously. Oh, look at little Holly back there in her sweater. Isn't she precious? My goodness. Are you excited about this now? Do you want to play in the snow? She's not having it. Do you want to go outside and play in the snow? She's not even excited about going outside because she does not like the cold. Just our hands clasped so tight, waiting for the hint of a spark. If heaven.